Is it worth it? Real love, do you think you deserve it? Cut them off, go and find your purpose and get you a nigga that's solid. Now, back to what I'm saying. So, how... Before I get into the video, so, miss up my game, we back at it again with another freaking video! So, today's video is part four of how I'm feeling, why am I, how am I feeling, why, um, why. Because it's it's a lot it's, it it really was a lot that went on and how I was I was really scared but before we get into the video um I need y'all to um watch the video all the way through so I can start making money and don't skip no, nothing no ads nothing watch it all the way through and um if y'all watch it all the way through. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe so I know. And comment if you've ever been in this situation before. Because I'm the, the, the only reason why I started this chan my channel to get my story out. Um, how I felt. So, um, so, it was like, um, I was always taller than my brother, my cousin, my nephew because they're younger. They we all around the same age, but it's like two, three, four, five years apart. Like we we like a couple of years apart, basically. But we all around the same age. It's just we only a couple of years apart. So I'm I'm always love hanging out with my brothers, nephews, cousins, like because it's like anything they did I wanted to do too because I was a tomboy. But I was always taller than them. And then that's and next thing I know is also I used to wet the bed. Sorry for the disclaimer. Because if I lose a drink late at night, um, I just wet the bed. But it was like it wasn't like on purpose. No, I didn't know I had to go to the bathroom because I'm a deep sleeper, and so it like I don't feel myself I to go to the bathroom. So um, it was like yo, and then next thing I know is um. Literally, I stopped for a year or two. I literally stopped for a year or two. And um, also, I stopped growing. And every and every time I woke up, I was always dry. And so, I'm like, yo. And um, either 7th or 7th or 8th grade, that when um, I stopped. Like, let you stop wetting the bed, seventh or eighth grade, because that because, um, um, and then also I stopped growing. So um, um, and it was like, and my mother kept asking, every is everything okay with me because I stopped growing. And the doctor said everything's fine. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. If it's so normal, why am I experiencing this till this day? It wasn't one kidney. It was both my kidneys were shutting down. Not one, but both. Come on now. How is that normal? Oh, I start growing because I'm a girl, so I don't start growing. No, I was always taller than my brother and, every, and cousins, and I start growing, and that because my kidney was shutting down. But we didn't know till I was in eighth eighth grade, seventh um eighth grade. I didn't we didn't know till I was in seventh grade because um. 
even seventh or eighth grade. Um, we didn't know because um my feet was swollen, and so um I'm like, and and my mother noticed my foot swollen, and then also I ate a piece of fish and I broke out really bad, and so. So, um, it's like I broke out really bad, and so I went to the hospital urgent care, and they said I, my kidney was rejecting, both my kidney was rejecting. I had to do the analysis and, and be in the hospital, like, ASAP, basically. My bad, y'all. So, um, they said I had to do, the, um, be in the hospital and do, and so, be in the hospital, I was, and, and then also, throughout all this, um, I had, this my second time growing locks, because my first time growing locks, um, I was in ninth, um, eighth grade or ninth grade. And um, my hair literally fell out, started falling out because um the steroids they were giving me for my kidney, I, I was swollen. They had no energy to do nothing, just always tired. And and I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Like, right? That's crazy. But the whole thing is, I'm I'm still like shocked and one. I'm like, why me? Why do am I the only one who have to experience this? Like, why? I don't understand. Like, why am I the only one that has to experience this? Like, this messed up. Like, what? Like, your kidney is rejecting, and I'm still dealing with it. But I and and the whole thing is and. I still have to deal with it, but I, I don't like it, but I have to deal with it. Because I've been dealing with this for years. I want to say I started dealing with this since um, in 2008, 2009 maybe, I started dealing with this. It's 2021 now. It's I had kidney transplant eight going on eight years ago and and they said um my kidney was rejecting they had to do um and I was like rejecting like what and the whole thing is only I have is one kidney because they did a kidney because and that's the kidney transplant kidney and they said everything was good and then they did a biopsy saying my kidney was rejecting so I had to do a um steroid and that messed with my blood pressure that m messed with my um head a little and um make me feel so dizzy sleepy tired I had to do um, f five treatment of that, S five treatment of that, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, or oh, four treatment. I don't know how many treatment was that, but my last treatment was Tuesday. Um, they, they just let me out Wednesday, um, they say um, my kidney function is doing pretty good. is is at three point six, and continue taking my medicine. And they they hopeful that I my kidney function will go down to two point something, then one point something. They really hopeful, 
But I had to do my part at drinking, take on my medicines, and everything like that, and the whole, and eating. But and so, good thing that I have my mom to help me a little bit. Because like if it wasn't for my mom, I don't know if I would have did it because because. When I literally, I go to the hospital on two medicines, go come back home, I'm on six, seven medicines now. And, and like, it's kind of, like, confusing a little bit. If I, if I read the pill bottle, then it won't be confusing or the discharge paper. But they, they want me... They, 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 it's kind of like confusing a little bit because I take pills like some of the pills I don't take till Tuesday, Thursday and the rest and, and the other pills I take every day and like I have to, I have to like, and then, and then I take five, one, one day, four in the morning, five at night, like it's, it's like, it's like, yo, I, I, I'm not, I'm not really used to this, but I'm, I'm about to get used to it. It's, I don't, I think I will get a hang of it, but right now, I'm happy that my mom is helping me. So, so I, um, because if, 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 if it wasn't. For my mom helping me, I don't know. Because it's so many pills I have. Like, it's so many a lot. And also, me keeping track of my appointments since I've been, been discharged, it's a lot. And I don't know. It's like, I literally just got discharged on Wednesday, um... And then I have three appointments next week. Yes, I have three appointments next week, four, fifth, and sixth. And those all for follow up with one, one of them that follow up with my kidney doctor that help the nephrologist that really help and see how I'm doing and to see how my kidney doing. And then another one is from my other kidney doctor because I had I always had that schedule before I went through all this. So that so they wanna follow up with that. And then also I have another appointment with my primary care doctor and that the doctor that did my lab work and that let me know that my kidney was failing and so I had to follow up with her to let her know how I'm doing. It's a lot of paperwork and stuff but other than that I'm good. Um it's the whole thing is I'm still processing it and everything but I'm good. I'm just happy to be alive. That's it. But other than that, I'm taking it one day at a time for real. It's still it's still upsetting because how I'm the only one that I have to deal with it. And, but I I'm do I do have family that are supportive. And, 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 and that, and that literally helped me, like, it's kind of like, help, that basically how I literally got through with all this, because I have family that very supportive and everything, and I don't know if, 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 if it wasn't for my family, I don't know, because I'm still dealing with it, and, and, and my, and my question is, why? Why it had to happen to me? Like, why? 
why didn't doctor never tell my mother that I had kidney problem, that my kidney was shutting down? Not one kidney, but two. Like, yo, it's and 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 wasn't even a good feeling experiencing this as a child because everybody else had like sleepovers stuff like that. Me, I didn't have no sleepovers. I didn't really do no sleepovers. The only sleepovers or or, or I did was over family house. I never went over no friend house to go sleepover. None of that. Um, I did go outside and play with friends, but not, other than that, I mostly stayed inside the house, sleep, mostly. But this is about the end of my videos. I hope y'all understand what's going on now and, and everything, stuff like that. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Come hit that team my game so I know where my world subscribers at. You follow me on these two of my social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, and Instagram. In order to get a um, shout out in my next video. You follow me on TikTok at PrettyPoppy24 because I will be dropping a sneak peek of this video on my Snapchat and uh, on my Instagram and YouTube, uh, on my Instagram and um, YouTube and t TikTok, so y'all see a little bit of what I went through. It's not, it's not gonna be a whole video, but it'll be a sneak peek, so y'all see what's going on. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man?